I what I buzz is Quonky and today I'm going to bring you a lot of people have been asking me how I've been doing color corrections and how I do it so uh, I'm just going to show you my color corrections that I use and some of the techniques I use to make my videos look good so as you see I'm playing best quality on a dirt free video 60 frames a second recorded from Fraps from my PC uh, it does work with uh, PVRs from Xbox don't worry it worked with any game but I really wanted to show you on a game that has so many different colors so as you just see my car runs straight into a fucking fence but this is a really good scene you got trees you got a blue sky you've got the dusty ground so it's really good to to get in there and start doing color curves now color curves is the main correction I do as you just see you just click it you drag and drop it, you can even drag and drop it on the clip or the layer and the top is basically where the light comes from and the bottom is more the contrast as that's how I see it so if I move this about you can see the effect of like how the effect happens on the uh, display so try making like an S but really bent out and you can see the, um, you can see the effect that it has on the video it makes it look it makes it come to life it makes it look a lot more vibrant has a lot more vibrant colors as you can see there but uh, I also use another technique which is contrast brightness and contrast with this which I'll show you in a minute I'm just gonna make the picture a lot bigger so it, what I've just done it brings out the colors but now contrast is where it really brings it out as you can see there it's really brought out the colors now the contrast center basically means that it focuses in on the middle a lot more and darkens the outer regions which you don't really want that really because you want to see the whole of the picture because it looks lovely so that is basically brightness and contrast that's normally what most people do but as you can see it's a before and after looks pretty good and if you're wondering how the fuck is he doing that without clicking any buttons I've got a mouse and it undoes and redoes so ish. But anyway you can just see the quality there now that is the exact quality as what you would get in the video because I play best quality you can play it on a shitter quality as I'm doing now on like draft and it pixelates and basically looks like you're playing postman pat but um this basically makes the picture full quality and if you don't really have a high spec computer it will lag to shit if you do you can just look at a frame per second just to see whether the quality is right because when it renders you know that's how it's going to look best quality but um, I'm just going to show you another technique I use now and it is the uh, film film lighting and uh, not many people use this on their videos but I do so you know I normally put like a I like a nice blue tint on every video I do I, I don't know why but uh, I put the softness right up to a hundred percent because if you if you look around the bush there where my mouse is pointing if you put softness right up it really stands out more and looks a lot more vibrant the colors look a lot better so anyway this is a before and after as you can see it looks really good with the lighting the commentary is going to come to the end now so I really hope you like this video this is basically my color corrections and what I use to make my videos look a lot better so anyway I have been quonky I'm gonna sum it up you can you can see the detail round every like round every wheel arch round everything you can just see it, it looks absolutely stunning and amazing so please subscribe to me my new montage will be out very very soon I mean very very soon so I have been Quonky. I really hoped you liked this video. I am off to kill a parrot. Peace.